hello so today we are going to discuss about the sun algorithm though it is commonly called as savasir ominsky and navathi algorithm so the shortcut for this is sun algorithm so let us discuss about what is sun algorithm so what is the purpose of actually solving this sun algorithm so sun algorithm is used to find all the frequent item sets so how do you find this frequent item sets so repeatedly read small subsets of the baskets into main memory and perform the simple algorithm on each subset so an item set becomes a candidate if it is found to be frequent in one or more subsets of the basket so as you could see in the diagram so this is these are all the subsets all the baskets and these are merged into a memory by running an algorithm that is an appropriate uh, priori algorithm with one by n support and then move to the disk all the possible candidates of each chain so the sun algorithm impart itself well to a parallel computing network so each of the chunk can be treated in parallel and the frequent item sets from each chunk unite to form the candidates here we can discuss or uh, dispense the candidates to many processor for each processor count the support for each candidate in the subset of baskets and at this end sum those sub, uh, support sum those support for each candidate in the item set so this algorithm mainly works on the map reduce functions so usually for first map first reduce and second map second reduce is performed so what is first map what is map and what is reduce actually so map is like in for the, the input input for map is like a chunk or subset of all baskets the fraction p of the total input file and finding all the frequent item sets in that subset and use using the support threshold the out Output of this uh, map function is a set of key value key value pairs where f is a frequent item set from the sample. So all these baskets are reduced into map, and after that, then into re uh, reduce. So we will see what is first map function and the first reduce function. As I said in the first map function, the allotted subset of the baskets is taken and frequent item sets in the subset using simple randomized algorithm is identified. Considering that algorithm lower the support threshold from s to p s. If each task get to get fraction p of the complete feed in file, the result is a set of key value pair f comma one where f is a frequent item set from the specimen. The merit is always one and is immaterial. So, what is first reduce function? Each reduce task is assigned a set of keys, which are item sets. These produce keys that appear one or more time. So, whichever keys that appear more than one or more time. With they will group those keys and frequent in some subset that are frequent in some subset. Let's see the definition of first reduce function. So each reduce core is allocated a set of keys which are item sets. The worth is disregarded and the reduce job is simply produced those item sets that comes into view one or more times. That's the result of first reduce function is the candidate item sets. So now the second map and second reduce function is being performed. What is second map and second reduce function? The second map function is like each map task takes output from the first reduce task and a chunk of the total input data file. So it takes input from both the first reduce function and the input file as well. So all the candidate in item sets go to every map task, count occurrences of each candidate item set among the baskets of the in the input chunk. So output of this second map function is a C comma B key value pair where C is the candidate frequent item set and B is the support for that item set among the baskets in the chunk. So let's see the definition of second map function. The map function map task for the second map take all the output from the first reduce function and the section of the input data file each map task counts the number of occurrences of each file of the candidate item set among the baskets in the section of section of the data set that it was allocated in this second map function c comma b is a key value pair set that will be output and where you can see the following parameter as follows the second sec reduce function the reduce task take the item set that are provided as keys and aggregate and the analogous values. The result is the complete support of each item set that the reduce task was provided to handle. Those item sets whose value is at least yes are frequent 
the items set that do not have a total support at least are not uh, are not broadcasted to the output to reduce task so the coming to the pseudo code of the algorithm as i said like the input is like baskets and support for the algorithm and we will be coming with the sequence of steps with the first map function and then the first reduce function and then the second map function and then the second reduce function so all these steps are being performed and reduce function is performed on count and support of the output so this is what the sun algorithm and the pseudo code and how the sun algorithm actually works coming to the question of sun uh, based on whatever we have uh, understood so when the question is like when will the item set becomes a candidate key when will the item set becomes a candidate key so the output uh, the answer will be an item set becomes a candidate key if it is found to be frequent in any one of more subsets of the baskets so if it is frequent in one or more subsets of the baskets then it is called a candidate key 